play some games! Hey guys, and welcome back for a quick guide this time around. Uh, this is actually on Reshade. If you don't know, Reshade is a post-processing application you can use to improve the appearance of games that you're playing. And while Guild Wars 2 is a pretty nice looking game in my opinion, even today, four years later, uh, it's still a good idea to take a look at some of these presets. It makes it that much better. So I have struggled with this newest version of Reshade. Other people on in the forums I've seen have struggled with this as well, so I decided to make a quick video. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna need, obviously, is a reshade. I will leave a link to this down in the description. This is uh, the reshade home website. What we're gonna do is just click download here. I already have this downloaded, so I'm not gonna worry about it, but you just need to download this anywhere. And once you have that, just go ahead and double click on this to run it. Select a game, make sure you're in your Guild Wars 2 directory file and actually select the EXE. Guild Wars 2 is a DirectX 9 game, so we're going to click that and it's going to ask you if you want to download all the standard effects. We do, so we're going to click yes. If you've used Reshade before, You'll see this nice little list of all the effects. If you'd like to toggle some of these off, some that you never use, you can do that conveniently here. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and say OK. And we're done. So now we need to go back to that Guild Wars 2 directory that we told it to install at. And we're going to grab these three files here and move them up into the bin64 file. Now if you've done this before and it didn't work, don't worry, it didn't work for me either and I found a way to make it work, so just bear with me here. I'm not trying to waste anybody's time. Uh, so now that we've done that, we need to go ahead and open Guild Wars 2. You'll notice it popped up right there in the corner, but if we hit Shift F2 to open it up, and we make a profile, I usually just call mine main or something to that extent. There's nothing, nothing, no effects. We have no effects here. So this is probably where you're sitting at. This is where I was for, for the past few hours scratching my head. Uh, <laughs> so when we go to the settings and we look at the directory that it's actually trying to find the shaders, it's in the Guild Wars 2 directory, but we need to send them to the bin folder. So we're going to go ahead and remove these two last lines. We'll leave the Guild Wars 2 in there. And go back to that directory. So for the, uh, let's see here, the effects search path, we're going to go into shaders and we're going to copy this address. We're going to go back in and just paste that in. Same thing for the textures. Go back one, copy this address. And when you're done with this, you'll see there's no effects, but if you click this reload button, all the effects will pop up. Now, I'm not gonna do that right this second because for some reason OBS likes to crash my game when I do this. I've tried to record this once already. So uh, I will just come back after I've reloaded these effects so you guys can see everything all set up. All right, guys, so we're back in game. Uh, just go ahead and hit F2. Uh, when you hit reload, all of this should have loaded back in. You gotta be careful though, because if you click around a little too much, your game will close. When that happens, it's best just to leave it alone. But you'll notice all these effects are now loaded in on the game. And if you've used a previous version of Reshade, you might be used to messing around with a text document. Uh, it's been a while since I've used a newer version myself. But to make these work, all you have to do is toggle on whichever one you like. So I like to move it off to the side here. And let's see something, ambient light, cartoon, I don't know what half of these even are, get some film grain if you really like that sort of thing, 
Luma Sharpen. I can see the difference there. That looks really nice. I might leave that one on. Vibrance. But in addition to that, if you come down here, you can actually scroll down through each of these effects and mess around with the values to make everything just right. So this, this could take a little fine tuning to get it to your liking, and I haven't looked into how easy it is to load a preset for something like this. I can't imagine it's undoable or too hard, but I don't know for sure that you can do that. Regardless, uh, this is still pretty cool. Uh, I really like this. You can just toggle them on and off and look at the ooh, look at the effect <laughs> right then and there. Alright guys, I'll leave you to all of your reshade setup. I hope you found this informative or helpful, and have a good rest of your day.